Good morning, everybody. It is about 6.30 in the morning, I guess. Sun hasn't come up yet, but look at that. Look at the horizon, how beautiful that is. Wow. I am so sorry that I have not gotten with you all for several days, but in a sense, I really needed a break. Uh, like yesterday, I really did not feel up to par at all yesterday. I uh, had swollen glands and just feeling bleh. <laughs> I started feeling better towards the afternoon, but you know, it, it is what it is. <laughs> and then, of course, with uh, all that's going on right now with the election and the not knowing who's going to be what, where, when, what is our future like, why, you know, it is kind of stressing. And uh, being empathic, I have been having a lot of, a lot of feelings just surging through me. And they're not good, you know, they're not good. So... I just decided I'll, I'll, I would just stay off for a few days and give you all a break. <laughs> so I'll be right back with you. There's Candy barking. I'm not paying attention to her. Okay. Well, I'm back inside. I am making some coffee, so I've got to keep an eye on it so that it doesn't overflow. <laughs> uh, well, I now have four 100 watt panels on the roof of my bus. I ordered a new solar controller because this may not be enough for the four 100 watt panels. So I don't want to burn one out and not have another one around, you know, to replace it. <coughs> so anyway, uh, like I said earlier, it's, I've just been kind of stressed out and I've had a lot of, you know, empathic people sometimes get sick when they have a lot of either negative most likely negative feelings around them and they don't necessarily have to be right there where you know where you are they could be even right here on my cell phone the news what have whatever it is so yes I have been a little I don't know if the word is stressed out really I almost have been feeling sick But it's a wait and see situation what's going to happen next. And I don't have no control over it. Nor do my feelings have any control over it. So I decided this morning when I got up to just sit back and wait and see what happens. Um, shouldn't be very long before we find out something, but... I've never been in an election like this in my life, and I'm 77 years old. <laughs> so, you know, things are, I guess, are different, you know. <laughs> things do change, and, well, they do change. <laughs> Anyhow, um, how are you all doing? I, didn't, I haven't even asked. I hope you all are doing well, and I hope that you all will be able to accept whatever happens in a very peaceful way uh, with this election. I, you know, I don't think that fighting actually is a thing to do. I think that, yeah, everybody should have their own opinion, and that's that's constitutional also. You know, freedom of speech, what have you. 
But uh, I think that all this fighting and arguing and bickering and families fighting with each other is not going to solve a thing. In fact, it will create more problems, especially when it's family, you know, arguing about it and fighting and anger and sometimes a lot of violence, even within the family. So, you know, we have to accept what is, no matter what. And I did wake up this morning to that thought. And I also woke up to telling myself, you know what your plans are, whichever way it goes. And just stick with it and don't allow all this to affect you in a negative, negative way. So, here I am. <laughs> I'm feeling much better today. I do feel a lot better. I have to go do laundry today. Probably pick up a few more things. I'm going to put a pot roast on uh, before I leave. So, that way we'll have a nice pot roast when we get back. <laughs> but we definitely have to do some laundry. Uh, and I, I don't know, I just, I feel so much better today. I mean, you know, sometimes when we make a decision about our feelings and our thoughts and, you know, you feel so much better. <laughs> and maybe yesterday's feelings that I had that I was so sick, that I felt so sick. Maybe that was part of it. And uh, I'm not going to allow negativity to mess with my health. So anyway, guys, I just thought I'd wake you up to a beautiful morning, as you saw at the beginning. And uh, just say, hey, I'll be back tomorrow. And I might be back later. Who knows? Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Talk to you all later. I love you all. Thank you so much for being there for me all the time.